Well ah, uh, today we have a totally different method. A totally updated method where we will be able to recover what is our device. As we can see our device has a screen lock and with the forgotten Gmail account. The first thing we are going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network to be able to start doing this process uh. First of all in this video tutorial as we can see the device has what is this little lock that we are. Uh, what we did was reset it because it had a screen lock. When resetting it we were still locked both. The screen lock and the forgotten Gmail Google account. In this video tutorial we will be able to recover our device as we had said method without a PC. We also have other methods by the PSA those videos we are going to leave them in the description of the video or in the in in the first comment. Fixed for those people who want uh, to use other methods. Totally different from this one you will be able to find it in that description of the video. As we could see previously we entered it was an emergency call. We dialed our emergency number here it loaded what was Google Maps and we gave it on screen several times here but it's no longer working when we click. On Google Maps it doesn't work either a in policy and privacy. Well let's connect first to the Wi-Fi network we connect we are already connected. To the Wi-Fi networks also when we entered policy and privacy all these. Settings where we entered Motorola and from there we could share our. We could share what was that text. That's not working anymore either, these devices have already updated the security. So we bring this video tutorial so you can recover. Your device and you can solve what is the recovery of our A phone. We are going to uncheck all these three options that appear here and then apply the following. We are going to click here accept and continue and now we will get to where it appears. The screen lock also what is the Google account. That's why we always recommend uh, not to advance the video tutorial so that you don't miss any details and you can solve the recovery of your device since it has a screen lock also finally with the forgotten Gmail. What are we going to do here? As we can see we are going to click here where it says do not copy here. It would take us to that lock of our, our screen device. Uh. Also when we reset our phone we are left with this Google account. That's why when we create a Google account it is always advisable to write down the Google account. We write down the Google account when we create an account with the password. We write it down in a notebook so as not a. Uh, because if we see it well we forget the screen lock. It may be normal we reset it but at the time that it asks us for the Google account. If we do not know the Google account just add the email and the password. Here it also tells us that we can add a phone number. That's why when we, we create an account it is advisable to add a phone number because it can also be recovered via the phone number. Also the next option would be A to add an alternative email that would also help us recover the device. But alternative emails are always recommended to add it from another person. Not from the same phone but an email from another phone. In order to recover it if suddenly we get this option to reset it. We forget the Google account and that. But with the alternative email. We can also recover it here we will click here where it says forget. We click on it, here we will write anything. We will also write here here we will also write again. Now we are going to do this here for about 30 seconds, we are going to do this method. This process to then enter our device. How are we going to be able to enter our device? I am going to explain what we are going to do to be able to 
Access it also a we are going to use what is the following, we are going to use this. I am going to show you what we are going to use in this video tutorial to be able to enter the device. We are going to use what is a Sankara block with a pin code. But this time we are not going to enter like the A. Like we entered before when we clicked on what was Google Map. That function is no longer working, I'm going to show you what you are going to do. Previously with our finger we pressed Google Plus and we could enter. That function is no longer working on these devices. Because the latest updates have advanced now what we are going to do here. We are going to emergency call here we are going to use the following. We are going to use what is a PC keyboard, we use a PC keyboard. It is what we are going to use in this video tutorial and we are going to use now a connection. An OTG. This would be the entry where we are going to be able to enter with our phone an OTG. We are going to connect our device here. And we are going to explain what we have to do to be able to enter our device. We are going to mark what the number is. The emergency number according to your country and we are going to hit enter here. The enter key quickly, we are going to mark again that it was not selected. We are going to raise it and we mark again here we can take the arrow now. Yes here and where we are going to use it here would be we mark. Again we are going to hit enter the little arrow is up there if you can see it. So we are going to do it three times. They're ready that then what we are going to do now. Is let's go let's see now we were able. To enter now what we are going to do is remove the SIM card we are going to remove that. SIM card to see we were able to enter. The device turn off turn on we hold here we will see. And yes as you can see we have already entered what was to the device. We have already entered, now what are we going to do here, we are going to do the following. We are going to click here where it says skip, we click on skip. When we are here in jump we are going to select this little ball that appears here. We are going to click here in adjustment or configuration. We are going to click here on notifications, we enable this notification. We are going to give it all the permissions, we go back. We click on location, we click here on OK. We are going to do this whole process step by step. We click here on accessibility, we enable this accessibility menu. Location, here location adjustment. We are going to click here that says all, we are going to click on the three dots. Show system here we would see what this Google Maps is. But it is no longer working, I don't know. Open as you can see Google Maps no longer works. But on some devices they usually give you the option to disable it. Now that it lets us, but we have this magnifying glass that we have here. Now we are going to write accessibility. Here we are going to delete letter by letter so that it appears here. We click accessibility, we click here in the accessibility menu. We enable this menu, that's it. Guest ready we go back now we are going to delete all this. We are going to delete everything and we are going to write battery battery. Let's go let's delete here. Here we are going to select battery usage here we select battery usage. Of the apps and here we are going to go to the last options and we are going. To disable the Google Play services they are already disabled once it is disabled. What we are going to do now is restart our phone. When our phone restarts completely. What we are going to do is the recovery of our device. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so that.
You do not miss any details and you can solve the recovery of our phone. We also want to tell you that we have a method by PC. Method without PC we have left other additional methods in the description of the video or in the first pinned comment so that you can apply it and you can solve it and recover your device. We are going to wait for it to start. That is why it is always advisable to watch the video tutorial step by step so that you do not miss any details and you can solve this recovery. We are going to give it accept and continue here. We are going to wait for it to take us. Wait for it to load when it is already fully charged. Let's wait a few seconds. In some cases it usually doesn't. Get as far as the option not to copy. If it doesn't take you to that option not to copy don't worry. We'll tell you the solution, we're just going to wait and see. Because that sometimes happens on some devices, not all. Let's wait here we already have what it is, ah, uh, the accessibility menu is. Fully ready to complete the recovery process for these. Devices. Let's wait a few more seconds. If we see that in about 30 seconds it doesn't work, it takes us nowhere. So what we're going to do is go back. We go back to complete this recovery process. I also want to tell you that at the end of the video sometimes we have some errors and how to how we correct those errors that we have left that the screen does not work correctly it would get stuck when we turn off the screen and turn it back on and we go to unlock it does not work. So for it to work I will explain to you what you are going to do. Here we are going to give you where it says not to copy, now it would take us here. As we were saying on some devices it usually doesn't take you there. If it doesn't take you to this point what you're going to do is this, you're going to go back. Back you click here to continue offline. Configure offline, you click there, after it takes you like this flashing screen. Then you're going to do this, you're going to click on the three dots. We go to here where it says recent app. This doesn't work anymore either, well it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do here is. We're going to click here where it says accessibility, we give it accessibility. Here clicking here we're going to click on the magnifying glass that appears here here we're going. To write battery we write battery battery we click on it here where it says battery usage. Of the apps we click on the one that is automatically shown to us that also says. Battery usage in the apps and here we're going to go down and we're going to look for the Google. Play services now we're going to enable it it was already disabled now we enable it we. Go back gently. Gently back, gently back. We click here configure offline, here we click accept. We would already have to have the zinc car removed from the outside so that it allows us to access our phone. Because if it doesn't have, if it has any zinc car entered it will not take you here. But this still doesn't end here, we're going to click here on skip, we click on skip. Let's wait what it takes us here we say not now, not now, not now, not now. We click on next here we are going to click on finish and this is the this. Is what I want to explain to you that in some phones the screen gets stuck. So how do we recover our devices to go down? It works but to click like this up it doesn't work. What we are going to do is go to what is the last. Options here we are going to be able to find this option that says system. We click on system here we click on reset. We click here where it says factory reset and we reset our phone. When we have completely reset our phone. When it restarts it would be like a totally new phone. A phone free of any errors. Only when it restarts what we are going to do is be able to configure it normally.